Hello, this is Roland Jung. You saw me last week actually create this project here. Now what I want to do is a little bit dig into it and see a little bit deeper if I forgot any parts because I want to release it for my smart wiring so my people on the shop floor can actually do place it. So the first thing I'm going to check is to see if as my components are placed, if all the components were placed. I can see here, oops, this is one component that hasn't been placed yet. And I can see that it also doesn't have a 3D attached to it. So what I'm going to do is I will just go and check out on the website that is provided on the part, see if I can actually find something that could be interesting. So here I go to the mirror, download, and I can find here some step files. So I just download that step file, go into ePlan, uh, open my macro project, go here import that specific step file and as i have it now available here it is this is how it looks like if i go here to my macro project whoops two seconds uh inside my layout this is the component just clean it up first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to unite it together so unite it boom like this so it's all one logic item. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define what we call the placement area. The placement area is used to place the device and orientate the device. So here you have to, in this case, actually look at the bottom surface here, placement area that will touch your whole panel. And then let's take a look at the top view. Now, because the top view is nicely rotated, I'm perfectly fine with this. And now I'm going to place what we call a handle. This handle is typically placed here with the left hand side on a component. If I want to really dig in deeper or closer, I could also place it right there on the middle of my um, object. This being done, I'm ready to create, in this case, the so-called uh macro itself so the macro is created based on of course the data that we imported so we know that this is a mirror component so a step file that got imported so typically what we would do is we would put it in the folder mirror and name it pretty much the same name except something like 3d.ema just to create something I can recognize, right? So once you do have it, you can just create the macro. Automatically, it creates the macro. Now that it is ready to be attached to my part, I can go back to my part itself here, which was actually here, placing my component. This was the mer component. You can see that right at this level here, I can move up to the component. I have my graphic macro here, and I can just pick the graphic macro that we can find here in the, the mirror folder. This is actually the macro itself. And there we go. As we modify the parts, they are synchronized inside my project. And from now on, I can just take this project or this part inside this project and place it. Let's see. Here I have opened this let's put it maybe right there where I have the rest of my power components and everyone will be happy by just placing it right there now since I yeah small mistake I should have actually changed the length of my din rail make it maybe the same length as this one and eventually once this is done what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this component again just move it and try and center it a little bit more using a different handle. I'm going to use a different handle right there just to center it right there. Perfect. And now it's better placed. This now allows me to update all my reports. In ePlan, updating reports is really simple. It's only one menu. And not only do I do my bill of materials, I do my model views uh, for ducts and rails, for cutting them, for drilling all the holes that are required. And last but not least, is most likely to actually take a very quick look at 
my, let's just reduce this here to the mounting aid so we don't have as many arrows. I'm just gonna take this and evaluate the routing. So here we're just routing the wires, see if all the wires can be routed from component, backplate, everything looks perfectly nice. So that also means that I can now go into my manufacturing pages and I do have a specific pages that are related to wire manufacturing. Those pages, I can update them individually or globally again. And this is what makes up uh, for a perfect wiring tool. So I could of course use a report this is not my intention. My intention is actually to take the project, to have the project uploaded as it is into my smart wiring. So it's a simple export from here, and I can just go here for the wiring and just go here, smart wiring. It's gonna export the whole project. It's gonna call it the same as I just did call my project. Do you want to override it? Of course, let's do it. And that will now be a new wiring project. It doesn't take too long, as you can see, the data is very quickly there. And that means that now inside my ePlan Smart Wiring, I can start it. Now, how do I start ePlan Smart Wiring? The first thing I have to do is on the Smart Wiring, I have to pretty much just check if I have my licensing running. So quickly, I'll do here a licensing check. Uh, the license that I need to use is this one here. So I'll always use this selected license. There we go. And then here, all I have to do is really 192. I just have to type in the exact server name that I have. And um, this is something that you can see here, right on the top right hand side. This is a server name that I'm looking at. So I'm just going to start this. You can see here, welcome my name and let's start the project. So I'm gonna start this e-build project here and I'm gonna show you. So this was smart wiring and now down at the electrician's place. And now I can organize my wires. I can organize them by source, target, wire size, whatever I want. And for each wire, I can actually look at where the source is positioned, the target is positioned, and also how both of them are actually connected together what kind of routing I have to do. I can even go from one and just move over to the other one like this, boom, boom, and it's done. So the idea is of course, I prepare my wire, I cut it in the light, right length, and I just hook it up on the other side. And there we go. As we move forward, we will have our different wires be registered as being done. As you can see here, the status changes. And also at the top here, the progress changes. So my smart wiring, I can also stop and somebody else can work on it at the same time. I can also look at the schematic. So if I'm not really 100% sure about what I'm looking at and I have to freeze the whole thing, I can look at the schematics and say, okay, I, this is what I'm connecting. Yeah, there's a problem. There's some sort of an issue. Let's lock up that wire and let's talk to someone, you know, before this is too late so he can do the changes. Another thing you can do also is you can actually look here at the complete uh, design here and say, okay, I'm going to, let's just close this. I'm going to look at the whole panel here and see if it actually all fits nice and dandy. We can see there is one here, a little bit questionable. It, it does fit, but it's really, really tight. But this is the beauty about the 3D here that you can see everything going on. And of course, you go back here and then you continue your work. And the idea at the end of the day is please wire up all the wires as quickly as you can. And this is the job for the electrician. So here I just showed you ePlan, routing, and smart wiring. Thank you.